achieved. won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased. Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call taxmen say! If there comes in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! 
The bollocks! We're coming in! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Stay on the ground, man. 